don't think that survival horror stopped being popular. Um, otherwise, we wouldn't be making this this game. Mm -hmm. We think there is a big audience for this, and people who really love playing this kind of game. Um, and we think that there are a lot of folks who will be interested in playing something that goes back to more pure survival horror and not an action game or a shooter that has horror elements, which is, I think, what you see more of. I don't, I don't know why. I, I mean, I, I can't speak for any other developer, publisher, and why they've made the two choices they've made. Um, I just know that at Bethesda, we seem to approach things differently from a development standpoint than other folks. Um, we're fine with trying new IP. We're fine with trying things that other folks aren't doing. We're, we're okay with doing single player when everybody else says you have to have multiplayer or co-op. Um, I think that's why you get a game like Dishonored from us last year when nobody else is doing anything like that. I think that's why we're willing to do survival horror and, and go back to pure survival horror when maybe other folks have moved moved away from that. That's why we make big open-ended RPGs for consoles when everybody says role-playing games are for nerds. Mm -hmm. um, and then we sell a lot of copies of it. I, I think we just have a different view of, of, what, of what's possible. But there's even within some areas where exploration, you can you can miss out on, on stuff. You can decide to go back and play through it again and find stuff that you didn't find before. But the idea of the game is to have you terrified and trying to think your way through um, every situation. Whether that's a combat <laughs> challenge, whether that is a puzzle, guy chasing you, um, searching and, and exploring for resources and then figuring out the best way to make use of those resources. We want you terrified but thinking all the time.